Hi. I'm Robo Susie and today I'll talk to you about types of hemorrhoids, everything you need to know. Also don't forget to check out the link below, for the most comprehensive, multifaceted program for fixing hemorrhoids. It has a very high success rate. But back to our topic. People who have hemorrhoids will have one of the two types of hemorrhoids, internal and external. The internal type of hemorrhoid. This type of hemorrhoid happens within the anal canal. Internal hemorrhoids, while not as painful as the external type of hemorrhoids, is exceptionally uncomfortable. Usually this is happens when someone has excess pressure in the veins on the inside of the anal canal. The internal hemorrhoids have a common symptom of the sufferers having a constant need to go to the toilet. Many times you will know that you have internal hemorrhoids because you may leave behind a trace of blood on the toilet paper or you may even get some that coats the stools. When you get an internal hemorrhoid that is forced from the uranus this is called a prolapsed hemorrhoid. This particular type of hemorrhoid has the look of a big lump of skin coming out of uranus. External type of hemorrhoids. When you get the external hemorrhoid you will notice that this is on the outside of the anus, and it will be very painful as well. In many cases you will get some severe itching or burning as well as a stabbing sensation. A very common symptom of the external type of hemorrhoid is bleeding. In this case blood is seen on both the stools and the toilet paper. Mostly this happens when you have clots of blood in your veins. Should your hemorrhoid become thrombosed you will need surgery. A problem, usually confused with hemorrhoids is the fissure. This is a hemorrhoid-like problem though it is not really a type of hemorrhoid. The anal fissure is actually a tear in the skin, however if it is not cared for it will likely become a hemorrhoid. Anal fissures are especially painful when you are passing stools. Hemorrhoids in children. The least common of the types of hemorrhoids are child hemorrhoids. Luckily this does not happen often, however it does happen to some children. This particular type of hemorrhoids may be brought on by long periods of crying, coughing or constipation. Symptoms may show up in the form of blood near the anus or in the stools of the child. If you do find some of these problems are being suffered by your child you will want to talk to your pediatrician. Prevention of hemorrhoids is very important to your child. To do this you will need to increase their liquid intake and increase the amount of fiber that they eat. Some of the symptoms that may show up in this type of hemorrhoids are, you may see blood on your toilet paper that will be bright red in color. You may see blood on your stools that will be bright red in color. Your anus may be irritated and itchy. When passing stools you will feel pain. You may have some pain when you walk or sit down. You may experience some swelling on your anus. Hemorrhoids are very different from one person to another so get to know what will work best for your type of hemorrhoids. If you find that you do indeed suffer from hemorrhoid, you will want to get the information you need about how to treat the problem. You will need information about your type of hemorrhoid so that you can treat it. The recommendation is natural remedies as they treat the whole problem. You will find that a program called H Miracle is the best for this process. To find out more about different types of hemorrhoids, as well as ways that you can cure hemorrhoids quickly and easily, visit the links listed below. That's it. Thank you. Please subscribe, comment and like this video if it was helpful. See you soon.